Hello and good evening. It's getting pretty close to sunset now, uh, or pretty close to golden hour, and Heather and I are in Dayton City Park or Swinging Bridge Park, something like that. There's a creek that runs into the river. We're actually on a little island, and uh, just back that way is the Tennessee River. And uh, Heather is wandering around with the D7100 and the 55 to 300, and I've got the Z50 and both kit lenses and the 200 to 500. So uh, we're just gonna wander around and see if we can find any comps, compositions, something like that. Anyway, here we go. Well, here's the first composition I found. It's the trail, uh, and it's not really a trail, it's uh, an asphalt path. And I like the way it's meandering along. There's forest on the left and the little creek that runs into the Tennessee River on the right. And there's the first of a few photographs that have one of those beautiful light posts in it. I've been working, uh, wandering around in this tiny little forest on this island for a few minutes and uh, I haven't been able to come up with any really good compositions that are just trees, but I did get one shot where you look down the meandering path that I really like. And I may even like this one more, looking across the field at the man-made light post there by the by the trail. Unfortunately, it's not on, but there's some beautiful light behind it. And uh, that may be my favorite one of the day. I'm, I'm using the, the Z50 and the 50 to 250 kit lens. And uh, the shot I just shot was ISO 100 F5, one tenth of a second. Also, I spotted, I'm not sure what this flower is here, uh, but I made a, a photograph of it with the 50 to 250 as well. Here is another photograph of one of these beautiful light posts. They turn these lights on, but they wait until absolutely dark. I would have liked to have seen them on uh, a little bit earlier. They would have really aided in the photography, but I love the way this picture looks. I like the light on the trees, especially that largest tree trunk there. Very beautiful, and this is one of my favorites of the day. Here is the flower. It's a weed. It's kind of on a sticker bush for lack of a better uh, explanation, but I like the, uh, the bright white flower and the dark background. Heather was just showing me some of her shots and uh, she was shooting further uh, towards where the sun is setting instead of deeper in the forest like I am. And she's got some, uh, some kind of interesting backlit shots that she's been working on. And she's using the D7100 and the 55 to 300 lens that I bought back in 2011. I can't remember when I bought the D7100, probably 12 or whenever it came out. But uh, anyway, she's been, she's been wearing that camera out today. She shot uh, bird pictures on the back porch this morning. Okay, so this beautiful backlit composition, Heather found it completely on her own. We went kind of separate directions in the forest. I helped her just a little bit with the edit, but otherwise this is all her. She picked the settings and uh, maybe she should have gone with a little bit slower shutter speed so her ISO wouldn't have been 6400, but it still looks really beautiful. And here is uh, two of the bird photos from that morning that she made on our back porch. We're kind of time jumping now to way earlier in the day where Heather was doing her first work with a mild telephoto lens in our bird studio on the back porch. And here is a Carolina Wren. And then this other shot is of a female or possibly a juvenile house finch that has beautiful light on it. It was really great light that morning. And the funny thing was uh, I went to work and she was on the back porch and I talked to her for a little bit. And then when I came back inside, I did what I always do. And that is I locked the door. So I locked Heather on the back porch and I had to come all the way back from work. Uh, fortunately, she had her cell phone. I had to come all the way back from work to let her off of the back porch. Okay, so I've been shooting. Uh, there's a bunch of cypress in the water here that's really pretty. And for a minute, there was bright sun on the trees across the lake. And now uh, that has gone away. And I was taking pictures of the cypress in the foreground and their reflection uh, with no light on them and the light in the background, bright colors, and almost, it's, it was so golden, it almost looked like fall colors, but it wasn't uh, in the background. And I was using, still using the, uh, the 50 to 250 K 
kit lens, uh, the two kit lens, the bigger of the two lens kit uh, with the Z50. And I've had various filters on. I had a 10 stop on for a little bit. I put a three stop on. I, I decided a three stop would work better and I switched to the three stop and then I lost the light. The best picture may be one at a half a second with no filter. So we'll see. And I was at F22 because I was trying to get this grass in the foreground here coming out of the water to be in focus as well as the cypress trees in the background. I didn't really care if the trees all the way across the lake were in focus or not. Um, it would have been fine. Oh, and I just heard a belted kingfisher flying around. So at the other end of the island from where the hiking trail starts, Richland Creek gets into this really large area and the sun was shining uh, as it was setting and it was still on the trees on the far side and I thought this was a beautiful composition with the cypress trees not in the sun but the bright sun on the trees across this body of water and reflecting in front of the cypress trees in this body of water. Really beautiful. Uh, there was tons of stuff in this water and it took forever for me to get it all cleaned up but I think the final product was worth the effort and this is the filterless photo that I was talking about in the previous clip. So this is Heather's composition that she found all by herself. I never even noticed this composition while we were walking in the same area. I like the brightly colored tree there in the foreground and the dark colored trees in the background. And I helped her just a little bit with the edit on this, but for the most part, this is her baby and she had to clean up the water as well. We were about to leave and we were on that side of this little creek. And uh, I was looking down the creek from that side and it looked like there were some beautiful trees hanging out across the creek. And when we got up to the very end, there was a way to get over here. So I've got my tripod, one leg in the creek and two legs shorter up here on dry land, looking down that way. And I made a photo at uh, four seconds F18 ISO 100, no filters. And I think it's gonna be okay. Okay, so here is the shot of that creek as it meanders its way down into the Tennessee River. I had been looking at this area the whole time I was walking up the path on the right hand side and when you get to the very end of that path you can loop around and go down the other side of this creek and I'm so glad I took the time to actually give it a shot because this may be my favorite photo of the day. It could be the previous one. There was a lot of stuff to clean up out of the creek on this one but not as bad as the previous shot and if you look at the top left of the photograph you'll see another one of those beautiful lamps and in the bottom left that lamp is reflected in its entirety. What a cool shot. On the way out we stopped in this beautiful pine forest and some of these pine trees are uh, big for this area. You know ones that I like this one right here with my camera is beside I couldn't put my arms uh, around it. Probably couldn't even put them much more than halfway around it but there's three right back there that gives me the Brendan Vanson rule of odds and the sun setting right back there it's actually already set we're uh, in uh, civil twilight now I guess and uh, it's definitely directional but it's not harsh at all and it's making for some beautiful photographs of those trees nice uh, nice warm and almost almost pink tones this photo has problems, problems, problems. Look at all the man-made stuff in the top center and the top right, but I don't care. I still love this photo. I love the way the light was hitting those beautiful pine trees, and I did a little bit of split toning to, to make it look even prettier. I still like this photo, even with the problems. Bonus! Heather and I made some video the following day around midday uh, at the Chickamauga Lake. Uh, not long enough for a whole video, but I did get some really cool photos, a couple of them, so I'm going to share those with you right now. Let's go to tomorrow. Hello, it's Phil and Heather, and we are out in the middle of Harrison Bay on the Chickamauga Lake in our little boat. And a lot of times in the, in the time of year when we take our boat out, I, uh, summer, spring, I carry uh, the 200 to 500. I, last year I carried the D500. This year I'm carrying the Z50. And uh, a lot of times in the spring on buoys, like uh, that little one over there in the background, this time of year there will be turns on the buoys, only in the spring. And uh, matter of fact, one time I, I didn't have the camera with me last year, or maybe it was the year before, 
but every no wake buoy in the marina that's on the other side of these islands had a turn on it and uh, that wasn't the case today we already rolled through there or cruised through there but we came out here and we were just about to pick up speed and go eat at a restaurant and there from a long way it looked like there might have been a bird on this buoy and we eased over here and i bet i took 100 pictures of it so surely one of them's in focus and exposed correctly and the crazy thing is the little turn is still over there here and the light's terrible it's way it's straight above uh ah now i can get good sun angle if i put the camera straight above my head the light's straight above us and um so that's bad and it's harsh so uh you know it's hard to get a good picture okay so i went through all those photographs of this turn and it turns out there were 119 of them to go through and as i went through them there were three that were definitely better than the rest and as i went through those three it was this one that was definitely easily the best of the top three so here it is the best turn photo of the day i think this is a forster's turn and there it is on a navigational buoy right here in chattanooga on the tennessee river and then later in the uh, day, just slightly later, we went over to Island Cove Marina to use their restrooms. And this beautiful mallard hen was walking along the dock, and I got a picture of it. It looks like she's got a little bit of damage on her right front foot, but she was awful cute as she walked along the dock. And now we return you to sunset the night before. Not so fast. We've got even more bonus footage. It's taken me forever to put this video together and today, which was a couple days after we went out on the boat, while I was at work, Heather went back into the bird studio and what'd you get pictures of? Uh, adult and juvenile mockingbird. Yeah, we've been watching these, uh, this family of mockingbirds on the back porch and Heather put a mealworm feeder out to try to get bluebirds to uh, use it and it's so far it's only been mockingbirds but she tore it up today with mockingbird pictures so i just had to add those and let's take a look at those now so heather texted me and said she was going to go back into the bird studio and i looked at the weather and gave her just a few pointers on what settings to use and she did the rest from there this is an adult mockingbird one of the two parents i'm not sure if it's the male or female and here is a juvenile the juvenile's eyes are not as bright and this one's cool because it's on the peach tree branch that we have festooned onto the back porch for the bird studio. And this next one is probably Heather's favorite, this puffed up little cutie with its speckled breast on the back porch. And she, there's a screw that was screwed into the railing there that she took out. So she did a lot of work on it before I gave her some pointers. And now we'll go back to a few days ago at sunset. Well, we are all the way back at the car now, and it's, uh, it's, it's 8.56. 8.56. It'll be blue hour in just a minute. Civil Twilight is drawing to a close. We're being lit now by, the, uh, by a parking lot light that's behind us. And uh, this is the first time we've gone on a photography adventure where Heather was not operating the camera I'm holding. She was doing her own still photography, and I do miss her doing video but it'll be interesting to see if she got any pictures that she likes. So that is fun, and we appreciate you watching. Hope you like the content. If you do, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell to see some more. You have anything to say? Nope. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I did it again. Bye. Bye.